Welcome back to my channel. So this is going to be the very first fall video of the season. I did this cranberry purple color eye and of course with a dark lip as well. I mean, can we just talk about the fact that it's fall? It is my favorite season and I am so excited. I had my first pumpkin spice latte. That was an amazing day. It really was. I cannot wait to create some fall makeup tutorials for you guys. Let me know what kind of tutorials that you'd like to see, like what kind of color combination. If you're new to my channel, hi! I am Ish. Thank you so much for stopping by and checking out my video. So yeah, if you want to see how to get this look, then keep on watching. Hey guys, so let's jump right onto this tutorial. I'm just moisturizing my lips using some Vaseline and I've also moisturized my face. I am taking the Makeup Forever Smoothing Primer just toward the center of my face to help with just minimizing some of my pores and then taking the Too Faced Hangover RX Moisturizing Primer all over my face before we move on to foundation. And for foundation today, I am taking Maybelline Fit Me Foundation in the shade 330 and my EX1 Foundation in F300. And I'm mixing these two just to get my perfect shade. And then I'm placing the foundation using a foundation brush, 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 and I'm placing it on my face and buffing it in with a flat shader brush. What? Flat shader brush? flat kabuki brush. Get it together-ish, get it together. Okay, and then after doing that, I am just going over it with my beauty blender. Then I'm taking NYX's HD Concealer in the shade 10 just to cover up some of the spots that I have on my face before moving on to the Sephora Gel Serum Concealer in the shade Pecan Pie to cover my dark circles and highlight the bridge of my nose, middle of my forehead, my chin, you know, all the usual places. And uh, yeah, then of course, we all look silly don't we, when we have all that concealer on our face, don't we? So yeah, and then I am taking the Beauty Blender and I am blending it all out. Moving right onto brows, I am taking the Benefit Goof Proof Brow Pencil in the shade number 4. And I'm just filling in my brows with this. And this product is very new to me and I have to say I've been really, really loving it. I feel like I can get my brows done really quickly with this. And then on top of that, I am going in with the Anastasia brow pomade <laughs> i had to remember what it was called in the shade dark brown to finish filling in my brows then i'm taking some concealer just to clean up the edges of the eyebrows and just like that our brows are done and then i do a little dance <laughs> Then I'm taking the Urban Decay Anti-Aging Primer Potion and just prime my eyelids and get it ready for eyeshadow. Um, I also prime my lower lash line because we are going to put some shadows on there as well. Then I decided to go on top of that with my concealer. Um, this step is really not necessary. I mean, you can do either one of this, either the concealer or the primer, but I just decided I wanted more of an even tone on my eyelid before I went on top of that with eyeshadow, so I just decided to do it, but you really don't have to. Then I'm taking a loose setting powder just to set the eyelids so it's easier to blend out the shadows later. Now it's time to use this palette, which I am obviously so excited to use. So I am picking up Raw Sienna for the transition color. So you basically see me just swiping this back and forth. But I realized I was getting some fallout, so I put some tape on before going back to the transition shade. Then I am picking up the shade called Buon Fresco. I believe that's how it's pronounced. If I'm totally butchering it, I'm sorry but I am just picking that up with a flat shader brush and just packing the color on onto the lid and I am not swiping it I am just packing the color on 
Then using the brush that came with the palette, I am picking up a love letter, which is one of my favorite shades in this palette. So I'm picking this color up and I'm placing it right on the outer corner of my eyelid. And then I go in with a blending brush. This is a Morphe, I can't remember the name, but I will put it on the screen somewhere. I'm using this blending brush just to blend out the color. So I do this back and forth a few times. I didn't include all the clips, but I pick up a little color and then I blend it. I pick up a little color, then I blend it. After a lot of blending, as usual, I am picking up a clean, fluffier blending brush just to blend out the edges and make sure it's not looking too harsh. Then we are going back to that lid color again just to intensify it a little bit more since some of it was lost during all the blending. And then, oh, I guess we're going to do a little dance again and then remove the tape. <laughs> Then we're moving right onto the lower lash line and I'm using the same color as I used on my lid first and then I'm taking Love Letter on the outer edge of the lower lash line. Then using the same blending brush from before, I smoke out the lower lash line. Then I decided that I wanted the outer corner to be a little bit more dark so I am picking up Cypress Umber, 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 I don't know, it's that brown shade. Sorry guys, <laughs> and uh, yeah, I poke myself again. Uh, what else is new? I'm always poking my eyes. But we're gonna move right onto eyeliner. Here I am taking Wet n Wild pencil liner. I am putting this on my lower lash line as well as tight line with this. Then I'm taking a pencil brush and I am just blending it out. Since there was some fallout from the eyeshadows, I did have to wipe under my eyes, which took out my concealer. So I'm just going back in with my concealer and conceal under my eyes and brighten that area before we move on to eyeliner. And uh, I am taking the Wet n Wild H2O liquid eyeliner and giving myself a wing. Who can relate to that concentration on my face, guys? A wing liner, it's no joke. It is serious business. Now that we've got our wing liner in place, I am taking the shade called Vermeer and placing it for the inner corner highlight. Then using the shade Tempera, I am going to highlight the brow bone. And picking up Venetian Red, I am placing it on the lower lash line because I wanted that bright pink color to show through a little bit more. Then it's time to curl the eyelashes and get it ready for mascara. And you see, I hurt myself again. What did I tell you? I'm always hurting myself. Um, so I'm picking up Benefit Bad Gal Lashes and I am placing it onto my real lashes before I move on to the fake ones. And I'm using Ardell Natural Lashes in 117, which are one of my favorites. And I'm just popping those on and then going back on top of that with the liquid liner again, just to cover the lash band and any traces of glue that may still be showing. Then I'm just going over the lashes with my Roller Lash Mascara for my top lashes as well as my bottom lashes. Now I'm using the Studio Fix Powder Foundation by MAC in NC45 just to set my foundation, which I didn't do before. Then I am taking NYX's Wonder Stick, and yes, it is a cream product that I am using to contour my nose on top of the powder foundation, which I know is kind of against the rules, but with makeup, there are no rules, and you make your own rules, and you do whatever works for you. So this worked out just fine. I was able to contour my nose with that, and then I'm just highlighting a little bit more the bridge of the nose, and then we're moving on to contouring our cheeks and I am taking Blunt by MAC. Once the contour is done, I clean it up a bit more using the Studio Fix foundation powder. And for blush today, I'm picking up this bright pink shade from the BH Cosmetics blush palette and placing it right onto my cheeks. Then it's time to highlight those cheekbones, the best part of our makeup today. Uh, I am taking this Carly Bible palette and I am using the highlighter that's the lightest in the palette, which is a pearlescent pink shade, which, you know, kind of keeping up with the whole makeup theme today, which is bright pink. So I am just placing it onto my cheekbones my cupid's bow, the tip of my nose, a little bit on my chin, you know, 
just just keep highlighting just keep highlighting everywhere that just you want to highlight then I do go over it with my damp beauty blender just to take away the powdery effect and help it all melt together now taking MAC Sun Power, which is a mineralized skin finish, I use this to bronze up the skin, bring back some more warmth to the face, and it also helps give more dimension to the face. Now it's time to line the lips, and I am using Essence Lip Liner in Honey Berry. Let me just make sure. Yes, it's Honey Berry, which is number 15, and I'm just lining my lips with this. Then I'm going in with Sephora Lip Stain in the shade number 14. I don't know if this has a name. I think it's just numbers. So, yeah, and then I'm just filling in my lips with this color, and isn't this color so beautiful, guys? Like, I am just so in love with this color. And um, then I'm just cleaning up the edges as usual, especially since this is a bright color. You want to just make sure that the lines look crisp and clean. Then I am setting my brow hairs in place with Benefit Give Me Brow and setting my entire face with Urban Decay D-Slick Setting Spray. And that's it. We're done, guys. So that was the very first fall makeup look for you guys. I hope that you enjoyed it. I had so much fun filming it. If you like this video, of course, don't forget to give me a thumbs up. I would love you if you did that. And if you haven't subscribed already, then click that subscribe button so you don't miss out on any more future videos from me. As always, I will list everything that I used in the video in the description below. So just check for any details. And if you have any questions, just ask me in the comments below and I will try my best to get back to you as soon as I can. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. Come say hello over there. I would love to interact with you guys more. Um, I think that's about it for today. I hope that you guys are having a wonderful day. I love you guys and I'll see you in my next video. Bye guys. Mwah.